Hi class, Mrs. Fayetta here. Happy Friday. So today what we're doing is we are going to create a Google Form and add it to your website. As you can see here, I picked a few websites that were completed this morning and this is the soccer website. And this student added rate my website at the very end and you could rate his website 1 through 10. Okay, very simple. I think he has two, three questions. Um, this person here also oops, added a rate my page to his gaming gear website. And so after looking at his website, I think this is a mistake. I'm going to delete it. After going to his website, you can also rate my page. And another sports one, rate my page, and this person added it at the end. He added um, a survey, and his questions were a little bit different. Who was your favorite player? How many championships have they won combined? Just two or three questions to your page. So the first step you're going to do is you are going to create a Google Form. I have the directions here, and it's really simple. It takes maybe two minutes or less to create it. But if you don't know how, I will post the step-by-step -step directions on how to create it. But the easiest way to do it is to go to your Google Drive, um, right here, the three by three array, and go to form. It's purple and it, the app looks like this. And once the app is open, you could go ahead and create a blank form. I started one here and I called it Rate My Website. You could change the color on your website or you could change the theme. You could even put an image that matches your website that you are making. So you choose a color, any color you want. And then you go ahead and write your questions. Rate My Website, oops. And you could do a linear scale, 1 through 5 or 1 through 10. It's up to you. Make it a required question. Maybe you could add another question. Um, what was your favorite part of my website or section of my website? A short answer. And then maybe you could add one more. We'll call it um, by adding this plus. Do you have any suggestions? Well, maybe another short answer. So once you're done with your three questions, you can um, view it here. That's how it's going to look once it's posted. You can also look at the settings. I would have people to uh, collect their emails. That way you know who said what. Maybe limit to one response and then save that. And then when you're ready to share your website, you go to send, copy the link. I like to shorten the link. I copy it, or actually, you could copy it and then I usually post it to Google Classroom. But what you're going to do is you're going to create, if this were your website, you're going to create another page and add a page and call it um, survey, let's say, survey, done. And then afterwards, on my survey page, I probably want my survey page to be down here. On my survey page, you are going to add, insert a Google form. And you could get it on your drive. So mine is right here. Here's my rate my website. Insert. And you will see it on here. And there you go. And that will be the final touch of your website. And that is how to make a Google form and add it to your website.